The speech that Franklin Delano Roosevelt planned on giving on this day, April 13th, in 1945, was a message of hope through science, peace, and understanding. Here is the speech we couldn't hear then. Hopefully, we can hear it now. We seek peace, enduring peace. More than an end to war, we want an end to the beginnings of all wars. Yes, an end to this brutal, inhuman, and thoroughly impractical method of settling the differences between governments. We must go on to do all in our power to conquer the doubts and the fears, the ignorance, and the greed which makes all wars possible. Today, science has brought all the different quarters of the globe so close together that it is impossible to isolate them from one another. Today, we are faced with the preeminent fact that if civilization is to survive, we must cultivate the science of human relationships, the ability of all peoples, of all kinds, to live together in a world together, to live together and work together in the same world at peace. Let me assure you that my hand is the steadier for the work that is to be done. I move more firmly into the task, knowing that you, millions and millions of you, are joined with me in the resolve to make this work endure. The work, my friends, is peace, an end to the beginnings of all wars. Yes, an end forever to the impractical, unrealistic settlement of the differences between governments by the mass killing of peoples. Today, as we move against the terrible scourge of war, as we go forward toward the greatest contribution that any generation of human beings can make in this world, the contribution of a lasting peace, I ask you to keep up your faith. I measure the sound, solid achievement that can be made at this time by the straight edge of your own confidence and your resolve. And to you and to all Americans who dedicate themselves with us to the making of an abiding peace, I say, the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. Let us move forward with strong and active faith. What an eerie message from FDR on the eve of his death. And we should all take note of that right here today. All of us peace-loving people, which is most of us, get together and let's make it happen. To all of you, I say, we can now march forward, all of us together.